mentioned earlier the bearers of the throne, how they would actually ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to forgive us, as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us, يَسْتَغْفِرُونَ لِلَّذِينَ آمَنُوا That they seek forgiveness for the believers. This is actually something that uh, we should be keen on, that the angels would mention us to Allah and the Messenger wasallam to have as many of them as possible going to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and mentioning our names to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in a favorable way. And the Prophet ﷺ, he told us particularly that the angels have shifts. You know, the angels have shifts with us. At Fajr and at Asr, they shift, you know, they switch these shifts. You know, subhanAllah, as we go to work, they have their work as well. And the Prophet ﷺ said that when a person attends salah in, in congregation, in Fajr and in Asr, then th- those two groups of angels, they meet at those prayers, and that's when they attend the salah, and then they go back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So the group that is departing from you, they go to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and says, they say to Allah subhanahu, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala asks, rather, you know, what were they doing? And they say, تَرَكْنَاهُمْ وَهُمْ يُصَلُّونَ We left them as they were praying. And then when they go back to them, they say, وَأَتَيْنَاهُمْ وَهُمْ يُصَلُّونَ And we got to them while they were praying. And so the Prophet ﷺ is teaching us to try to make sure that we're in a state of salah during the shift change of the angels, so that every time Allah asks the angels that were with us, what were my servants doing? They would say they were in a state of salah, O oh Allah. Now obviously Allah doesn't need the angels, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't need to ask them about us. Allah is very well aware of us. But this is something we find in many different narrations. Allah asking the angels about us as well. Uh, in Hajj, for example, uh, on the day of Arafah, the Prophet ﷺ, he said that as Allah looks to this gathering of people, you know, subhanAllah, covered in dirt, in, in, you know, in this valley, millions of them calling upon Him, leaving behind everything. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala looks to them and He says to the angels, مَا أَرَادُوا هَؤُلَاءَ What is it that all of these want? And the angels are the ones who say, Ya Allah, they're seeking forgiveness from you and protection from the fire. And the Prophet ﷺ, he said that more people are freed from the fire on the day of Arafah than any other day of the year. We also find it in the very famous hadith, uh, where the Prophet ﷺ mentions the roaming angels, right? There are angels that roam the streets. Now, generally speaking, the Prophet ﷺ, he said that no people gather to remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, except that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala you know, causes the angels to surround them, mercy to cover them, and tranquility to descend into their hearts. But the very famous hadith, the Prophet ﷺ mentioned to us, the, the angels that go around the streets, navigate the homes, looking for people that are uh, remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And then when an angel finds them, he calls the rest of them and says, Halumu ila hajatikum. Come to that which, which is your need. Come to that which you were looking for. So this shows us that these angels are all particularly just assigned to look for people that are remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And so those angels surround that gathering with their wings until they reach Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And once again, we see Allah asking about us. And Allah says, what is it that they're doing? They're remembering you, O oh Allah. They're seeking your pleasure. They're seeking entrance into paradise. And they're seeking protection from the hellfire. And Allah asks, I mean, have they seen me? Have they seen paradise? Have they seen hellfire? And Allah already knows the answer. And of course, they're answering no. And Allah says, well, what would they have been like had they seen me? Had they seen paradise? Had they seen hellfire? And obviously, in each of those areas, they would have been more diligent. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is showing the angels something. He's showing the angels how special, this, how special the human beings are as well and how much He loves His believing slaves. So Allah says, Bear witness, O my angels, that I have forgiven them all. And they say back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, But Ya Allah, what about so and so? You know, he's just there because he had some business, he had to meet somebody. He wasn't necessarily there, you know, for the lecture, for the class, to remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah responds to them and says, هُمُ الْقَوْمُ لَا يَشْقَى بِهِمْ جَرِيسُهُمْ That they are a group of people, uh, you know, that would not be deprived by, you know, because of their company. Meaning, by sitting with this righteous group of people, anyone who sits with them would not be deprived of the mercy and the forgiveness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now that's the famous hadith. What happens after that? There is a narration in a tabarani that at that point, نَادَاهُمْ مُنَادٍ مِنَ السَّمَاءِ Now the angels go back, and an angel calls out and says, قُومُوا مَغْفُورًا لَكُمْ Stand up, forgiven. Go ahead and stand up, forgiveness has been given to you. فَقَدْ بُدِّلَتْ سَيِّئَاتُكُمْ حَسَنَاتِ And your sins have been converted 
to good deeds. SubhanAllah, so there's an excitement from the angels, like congratulations, this is what you've attained. We don't hear it, but we feel it. And that's why you feel a sense of renewal when you leave uh, places where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is being remembered. Even if you were learning about, uh, you know, about a technical science in Islam, you leave with a sense of renewal because you are forgiven. The weight of, that, of the sin has been removed from you. We also see that the angels will make dua for us to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when we make dua for our brothers or sisters behind their back. As the Prophet ﷺ, he said that no one of you calls upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for his brother or sister in the, you know, without being seen, except that there's an angel that's been appointed to him that says, Ameen, walaka bi mithrihi, Ameen, and for you as well. So that angel now is calling upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and saying, Oh Allah, give them whatever it is that you said, Oh Allah, give them. Right, so the angels are mentioning you to Allah subhanahu wa taala. They also, as the Prophet sallallahu alaihi mentioned, Allah and His angels send their, you know, send their 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 blessings upon uh, as saf al awwal, the people of the first row, the people that get to the masjid first, the people that incline towards ibadah first. You know, because as human beings we have that lag time. The angels don't have that lag time, and in fact, on Jum'a, the Prophet sallallahu alaihi said that on the day of Friday. The angels have their scrolls. يَكْتُبُونَ الْأَوَّلَ فَالْأَوَّلَ And they write down, you know, people in accordance with what, how early they got there. So those that got there earlier are at the top of the scroll that's gonna go back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The later that you got there, the later you will be on that scroll. And subhanAllah, Imam Al-Zarqashi, rahimahullah, Al-Zarqashi actually says that some people used to go to, so early to Jum'ah that they needed to carry lights. Meaning they'd go pray Fajr, They'd go home, you know, do it, you know, clean up, and then they'd go back to the masjid carrying their lights. They'd actually go in darkness. The Prophet ﷺ said that when Jum'a, when the Imam greets the people and sits down, the angels close their mushafs, they close their books, وَجَلَسُوا يَسْتَمِعُونَ لِلذِّكْرِ And they sit down to listen to the remembrance as well, to listen to the khutbah as well. Now as far as our mention to the Messenger ﷺ, you have to know, that no one is more beloved to Allah or the angels than the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. That's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, إِنَّ اللَّهَ وَمَلَائِكَتَهُ يُصَلُّونَ عَلَى النَّبِي That verily Allah and His angels, even Allah and His angels send their salawats on the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And the command comes to us as well. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam mentioned that anytime you say salawat, in any form, Allahumma salli wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad, or Allahumma salli وَسَلَّمْ عَلَى نَبِيَنَا مُحَمَّدْ وَعَلَىٰ آلِي مُحَمَّدْ or so on and so forth. In any form, there is an angel that will actually deliver the salawat to the Prophet ﷺ with your name on it. So these beautiful creatures are actually serving that purpose of mentioning our name as well to Allah and to the Messenger ﷺ.